junior quarterback Michael Niebrick is coming off an impressive opening week where he threw for four touchdowns and scored another in a 51-26 win over Rhode Island here on the Patriot League Network. After winning the Rockin' Refuel Performance of the Week, Michael joins us today via Skype. Hi Mike, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Good. Your offense looked great in week one. Can you tell us how excited you are to be a part of this group? Yeah, we uh, we got a real special group of guys this year. Um, you know, obviously we have a lot of uh, you know a lot of guys returning from last year's uh, offensive unit. Um, you know, having Wetzel outside, and uh, you know we have a couple of new additions at wideout. Um, our offensive line has been strong. They actually had a, a nice performance in the first game, so um, it's a fun unit to be a part of. Obviously, it's a fun system to be a part of. So uh, you know, hopefully, we can continue the, uh, the success throughout the season. What can you tell us about Sam Majala's catch in the back of the end zone for the first touchdown? Sam's a playmaker. Um, you know, all week he was kind of riding me hard, you know, to make sure I get him the ball. So um, at the beginning of the game, he came up to me and, you know, told me again to make sure I got him the ball. So, um, you know, once I threw it up there for him, I knew he was going to come down with it. And, uh, you know, like I said, the kid's a playmaker. And if it wasn't for Sam's big touchdown, the play of the week might have been Brian Wetzel's 49 yard catch and run. How important is Brian Wetzel to this offense? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a big part of the offense. Um, obviously, he has, you know, the most experience out of all the wideouts. So um, he brings a, a great leadership factor with them. Um, you know, he, he knows exactly what he's doing at, at all the positions so he can help out the wideouts. And, um, you know, obviously, like you saw on the, on the catch, he's, uh, he's a playmaker. So um, he's, a, he's a, a, great, a great part of this offense. And, uh, you know, we're really going to need him this year. You also ran for 31 yards last week, and Carlton Coons nearly had 100 yards rushing. How good can this offense be when you have the passing and running game clicking like it was last week? Uh, if we can continue to kind of have a balanced attack, running and throwing the football, um, this offense is as dangerous as any any team in the country. Um, I think we need to get a little bit more consistent rushing the ball. Um, we had a, a few too many um, tackles for loss. Uh, so if we can get more consistent throwing throwing the football and rushing the football, um, you know, like I said, we're going to be a, a, one of the top offenses in the country. Okay, so we got the hard questions out of the way. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. We have a couple of rapid fire questions for you. Are you ready for them? Let's go. Okay. You wear number 12 on the football field. Is there a favorite NFL number 12 that you like and why? Yeah, yeah Tom Brady. <laughs> and why is that? Uh, I don't know. I always kind of just, uh, my, my dad, um, was from Boston. Um, he lived in Boston, so he's a Patriots fan. And um, you know, ever since I was born, you know, kind of got into football. Tom's just kind of a quarterback that I always looked up to and tried to uh, model after. It's got to be tough being in New York with that, right? Yeah, I'm not from New York, so <laughs> it's a little uh, different. So we hear that you have a pregame ritual that you do. It's part of a superstition that started in high school. Yeah, uh, the, the six Ritz crackers. Uh, I, I was told that that was going to come up. Um, it, it, I don't know when it started. Um, I think it was maybe either from my freshman or sophomore year. But um, you know, ever since ever since I started it, you know, I've, I've been playing well. So just kind of something I continue to do. Stick with it. Yeah, I got to stick with uh, any ritual that works. So speaking of food, if I put you in charge of cooking dinner for some of your teammates, what are you going to be making? Oh, for the teammates, uh, a lot of fried chicken, some pasta. You have to have mass quantities with these guys. They uh, they eat basically anything as long as there's a lot of it. So, uh, you know, I think they'd be happy with just about anything. <laughs> and lastly, for those who haven't been to Fordham, where would you recommend they visit when they're down in your area? Oh, um, obviously, you know, there's, there's Manhattan, there's Times Square, all that stuff. But, um, you know, around here, I think, you know, the biggest thing is just coming on campus, actually, and visiting Fordham as a school. Um, you know, you get the, the city life outside of it. And then, you know, as soon as you step on campus, it feels it feels very much like a college town campus. So um, I think it's a very, you know, very unique campus. And I think something uh, everybody should come in and try and visit if they're around here. All right. Thanks, Mike, for your time. Congratulations on a good start to the season and good luck the rest of the year. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.